Hey tankers, in today's episode we'll be introducing you to an experienced tanker, we'll also be sharing with you some useful tips and telling you about upcoming celebrations. Do you have a life hack that can make life easier for every tanker? Do you want to hear your name in the vlog? Find the link to the special form in this vlog's description and submit your tip, we'll be sharing the best ones in upcoming episodes. The first life hack comes from our Russian community manager Maxim Kusainov. Hey guys, I have two other accounts besides my primary. I use them for shooting videos and playing at lower ranks. To avoid having to enter different passwords every time, I add a word and dot before the link. I use a different word for each account. For intents, here I added Kasim dot before Thank you Online in the link. For this link, I chose the option to remember the password. I also save the link in my browser's bookmark bar. The same goes for the other accounts. Now I have three buttons, one for each account, and I don't need to enter password every time. You're welcome! And now let's talk about how to play better. Today's experienced tanker is a well-known duelist, Whiskey, who recently changed his nickname to a more appropriate one. Please welcome Millennium and his gaming tips. Hello tankers, this is Millennium and today I'll be showing you a few tricks with Hornet and Railgun and with Ricochet. Let's start! When playing with Ricochet, keep in mind your weakness, overheating your gun, which will slow down your firing rate. Every single shot you fire counts. Do not hold down the spacebar when using the turret. Instead, only fire your shots when you're sure that you're gonna hit the enemy. And remember, the less frequently you shoot, the less lift up you'll experience when playing on Wasp and Hornet. Now, something about Ricochet's main feature, it's bouncing projectiles. Here's how they work. Every time the projectile bounces off an obstacle, it moves up or down to try to hit any enemy tank in its path. It is always best to hit your enemies by bouncing your shots against an obstacle first. Even if the enemy tank is higher than yours, this will still give you a better chance of hitting him and the unexpected angle will give you an additional advantage. If you like Ricochet and Rio, play for the red team. You can use this point to control the whole enemy base. This is especially useful when both flags have been stolen and the enemy is hiding with your flag underneath the ramp. Now let's talk about the XP format. These tips can be useful for all fans of this format. First, a simple tip. As you move from cover to cover, fire a shot in the direction of your enemy. It's unlikely that he will pop out to shoot you, but if he does, he will miss and take damage. But you'll need to be as accurate as possible. Here's a common situation when playing XP on Sandbox. One tank is positioned at the lower level, close to the wall, while the other player is right above him. Many players think that in this case the best option is to move to the side and try to hit the opponent. But if the lower tank is slightly distant from the wall, it is possible to take the shot. This works both ways, firing upwards from underneath and from the top down. One last thing with Railgun. Some episodes ago, Jekka Mix showed you a very effective shot through ramps. Here's another cool and unexpected shot. It is possible to hit an enemy who is going up the ramp on the red base from this point in the blue base. It's much more complicated than shooting through a ramp, but you can be sure that the opponent won't be able to get you from there, and your shot will be completely unexpected. That's it, tankers. This was Millennium. Good luck in the arena. Time for the video of the week. Last time the theme was the skillful use of mines. Let's see what we've got. For next week's video, you can do whatever you please, but it must be on the Barda map or somehow related to it. Finally, May holidays are coming back to TO. We have 9 full days of celebrations ahead, with lots of cool stuff happening. Here's what's coming your way. From the 1st to the 9th of May, battle funds will be gradually building up to double. But it wouldn't be a real celebration without the discounts that you love so much. 
will start on day 1 with a bonus to every purchase of crystals, then discount on paints, hulls and turrets. And to keep up the holiday vibe, you'll be able to send special gifts to your fellow tankers. These include 3 badges that you can send anytime during the holidays and 2 special gifts exclusive to the last 2 days of celebrations. So celebrate, play and send gifts to each other. This is it tankers, get ready for the May holidays. By the way, we will not be having a vlog next Friday. We've decided to not distract you from the big battle funds. Seriously though, the vlog team just needs a good rest. See you again in two weeks time on the 13th of May.